I got a call directly from a guy named Bob Pittard from the University of Georgia. The University of Georgia? Why are they calling for me? One of the things that still stands out today again with me is his physical toughness. People bounce off of him. Really hard to tackle. When he played the game, Terrell's a mean guy back there. It's like a marriage, you need the perfect fit. And so that's what I personally was looking for. I'd like to find a featured back. Hopefully we can find that one guy that'll, that'll be the guy. He's a great kid, he's a good football player. Let's take a chance on this guy late in the draft. And so here I am running down the field with a stomach full of hot dogs. Absolutely crushed by rookie Terrell Davis. And so from that moment, I think he showed Mike, I'm tough. You're looking at a six round draft pick that nobody really knew a whole lot about. And Mike said, what do you think about being our starting running back? <laughs> I said, what? You watch him and all of a sudden he goes from rushing for 80 yards to, to 90 yards, to 120, to 130. And you're like, oh, wait, wait a minute. This dude legit. This dude can play. My God, we, we got to steal. Well, the report from the bench is blurred vision. He has a history of migraine oh, headaches. Oh, and we're told it's questionable whether he'll be back. Here's Elway to Davis. Corral straight ahead. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Denver's ahead. Did y'all see Terrell Davis? My no, brain headache. Come back to play. The boys got hard. If Terrell comes out here and rushes for over 200 yards and gets three or four touchdowns, they don't got to throw me any passes. Elway, handoff, Davis into the end zone. Touchdown! Yeah. Davis takes the toss and runs right. Cuts back. TD right now, making a lot of Packers miss. I get kicked. Terrell Davis is on both knees, and He's this would be bad. And I'm thinking, I just can't believe what's happening. By the time we went back out, I could see. That's a sign of a champ. <laughs> You're back in the game. That's right. Not only could I see, but I could see in HD. Late in the game, Terrell runs for about 20 yards. Penalty flags in the play as Davis leaps into the end zone. We get a holding call. Mike turns to me and says, run it again. Come on, Chief. Hand off Davis, left side, behind Howard Griffith. Nice hold, Davis, 50, 10, 5, Davis! Did he get in? No, he's out at the one yard line. Davis, into the end zone, walking, standing up. Denver's gonna win it! Oh, baby, they're gonna win this thing! The Broncos have done it! They have shocked everybody. Go ahead and salute them, Denver. You got the world champions! The Broncos and Terrell Davis began the 1998 season on a record-breaking pace. He could have rushed for 2,500 yards that season. We didn't want to get Terrell hurt, but we wanted to get him 2,000 yards. It wasn't his record anymore. It was our record. We're yelling at the sideline. How many does he need? 40? OK, we're on it. The great ones can make it happen. He needs seven yards. He's behind Elway by himself. He takes the handoff, running left. Terrell breaks a tackle. He's got it. 2,000 yards, and they're chanting, TD, TD. Davis's football life was one surprise after another. My guy has two Super Bowls and a Super Bowl MVP, and a 2,000 yard rush season, and a league MVP. His numbers are the same as Earl Campbell's. His numbers are a little better than Gail Sayers. I don't like to speculate, but this is fact. Without TD, we don't win Super Bowls. That's fact. Go ahead, TD. Let's see that salute one more time.